हेलो वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑन रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ग्राफ्स इन कंप्यूटर मेमोरी इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ ग्राफ डेटा कैन बी स्टोर्ड और रिप्रेजेंटेड इन टू कंप्यूटर मेमोरी द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेक्चर इज दैट द स्टूडेंट इज एबल टू एक्सप्लेन एंड राइट एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स एंड एडजेसेंसी लिस्ट रिप्रेजेंटेशन फॉर ग्राफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ग्राफ्स देर आर टू कॉमन वेज ऑफ स्टोरिंग ग्राफ्स इन द कंप्यूटर मेमरी द फर्स्ट वे इज सिक्वेंशियल रिप्रेजेंटेशन यूजिंग एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स एंड सेकेंड वे इज लिंक्ड रिप्रेजेंटेशन बाई यूजिंग एन एडजेसेंसी लिस्ट लेट एस सी इन डिटेल दिज रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ग्राफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स इज यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट द नोट्स दैट आर एडजेसेंस टू वन अनदर In graph, two nodes are said to be adjacent if there is an edge connecting them. In an adjacency matrix, the rows and columns are labeled by graph vertices, as shown here. If n nodes are present in the graph, then n by n matrix is needed to represent an adjacency matrix of that graph. As shown here, an an entry in adjacency matrix G will contain one at ith row. and jth column if the vertices vi and vj are adjacent to each other for example here in the graph g there is an edge between vertices a and b therefore at zeroth row and first column the matrix cell value is set to 1 whereas there is no edge between vertex a and e therefore the zeroth and fourth column matrix cell Value is set to zero, as shown here. In this way, for every edge between two vertices, the value set to one in respect to cell of matrix and graph is represented using adjacency matrix. The matrix G is adjacency matrix representation for graph G. We have seen the adjacency matrix representation for undirected graph. Now let us see an adjacency matrix representation for directed graph. Here graph G one is directed graph. Here each edge direction is considered while representing an edge in the adjacency matrix. Here adjacency matrix G one is representation of graph G one. As we can see here, there is an outgoing edge from vertex P to vertex Q. Therefore. the value 1 is set at zeroth row and first column matrix cell but there is no edge from vertex q to vertex p so the zeroth value zero value is set at the first row and zeroth column of column cell ma of matrix similarly to represent the remaining edges in the graph g1 the value 1 is set to the respective cell of a edge mat of a matrix to represent an outgoing edge from vertex p to q to represent an outgoing edge from vertex p to vertex s the value 1 is set to cell to represent an outgoing edge from vertex q to vertex s the value is set to cell is 1 similarly to represent an outgoing edge from vertex r to vertex q the value is set one is set to the cell similarly to represent an outgoing edge from vertex s to vertex t the value one is set to that cell to represent an outgoing edge from vertex t to vertex r the value one is set to cell the remaining all cell is set to 0 because there is no edge present between these vertices the adjacency matrix for a weighted graph contain the weight of edge containing the vertices here is an example of adjacency matrix for a weighted graph G, g2 instead of a value 1 the weight of an edge is stored in the matrix cell representing the edge between the vertices and if there is a no edge then zero value is used to represent no edge between these two vertices 
here is the time to reflect on the content what we have learned pause the video for some time and write the adjacency matrix for given graph g3 here is the adjacency matrix for our graph g3 there is an edge from vertex p to q and p to s therefore one value is used to represent an edge similarly there is an edge from vertex q to p and vertex q to s therefore one value is used to represent an edge there is an edge from vertex r to q so one value is used to represent that edge similarly there is an edge from vertex s to t and from vertex t to r so there is one value is used to represent that edge in the respective cell the adjacency list is another way to represent graph in computer memory here the linked list used to store node information of graph this representation consists of a list of all nodes in graph and every node is linked to its its own list in which adjacent node information is stored in this exam example undirected graph g is represented using adjacency list first array of all nodes is created with link now node a is adjacent to node b and d therefore node a is linked to node b and d here the last node link field consist of null value which is indicated here by cross sign this in indicates that the end of the list of nodes linked with the node a node b is adjacent to the node a c and d therefore node b is linked to the node a c and d node c is adjacent to the node b and e therefore node c is linked to node b and e node d is adjacent to the node a b and e therefore node d is linked to the node a b and e node e is adjacent to node c d therefore node e is linked to node c and d here is directed graph g1 is represented using adjacency list first array of all five nodes p q r s and t is created along with link and outgoing edge is present from node p to node q as shown in the diagram and from node p to node s therefore node p is linked to node q and node s and outgoing edge is present from node q to node s therefore node q is linked to node s here the last link field con consists of null value an outgoing edge is present from node r to node q therefore r is linked to node q an outgoing edge is present from node s to node t therefore s is linked to the node t an outgoing edge is present from node t to node r therefore node t is linked to the node r now let us see the adjacency list representation for weighted graph here weighted graph g2 is shown in this diagram in weighted graph representation one more field is added in each node that is weight of that particular edge first array of all five nodes a b c d and e is created along with link and outgoing edge is present from node a to node b with weight 3 so from node a to node e with weight Two, so there is a node link from A to B and A to E with the respect to weight values. Therefore, node A is linked to node B and E, where node B is holding edge weight value three and node E is holding edge weight value two. There is no further node connected to node A. Therefore, link field of node E is holding null value indicated by cross symbol. an outgoing edge is present from node b to node e with weight 10 therefore node b is linked to node e where node e is holding edge weight value 10 an outgoing edge is present from node c to node b with weight value 4 therefore node c is linked to node b 
where node B is holding a age weight value 4. An outgoing age is present from node D to node C with weight value 5. Therefore, node D is linked to node C where node C is holding age weight value 5. An outgoing age is present from node E to node D with weight value 6. Therefore, node E is linked to node D where node D is holding the age weight value 6. Here is the time to reflect on the content what we have learned. Pause the video for some time and write the adjacency list for given graph G4. Here is the adjacency list for graph G4. There is an age from vertex P to Q and P to S. Therefore, node P is linked to node Q and S. Similarly, there is an age from vertex Q to P. Therefore, node Q is linked to node P. There is an age from vertex R to Q and R to T. So, node R is linked to node Q and node T is similar link, uh, uh, node sorry, there is a link, there is an edge from vertex R to Q and R to T. So, the node R is linked to node Q and node T. Similarly, there is an edge from node S to R and from node S to T. So, node S is linked to node R and node T. Finally, there is an edge from node T to node R. So, node T is linked with the node R. Thank you for watching this video.